All right, good evening, everyone. I'd like to call to order the King George County School Board Special Meeting. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. Please be seated. At this time, we'll open the floor for public and employee comment. Ms. Rinko, do we have any? Yep. All right. All right, I will ask that you come to the podium, state your name, your relation to the school division and the magisterial district within which you reside and ask that you limit your comment to three minutes. So we have Ms. Strauss. Good evening. My name is Dee Strauss. I am the marketing teacher and DECA advisor at King George High School. I live at 10362 Ridgeway Drive and I'm in the James Madison District. I just wanted to say to you all, thank you so much for the support that you have given our DECA chapter uh, as we have moved through this semester. Um, you have provided membership, you've provided insight, you've provided help and support, and that is greatly appreciated. So from Mr. Addison, myself, and all of the student members totaling 123 today, then I would like to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Strauss. Mr. Vance, do we have any comment online? All right, well then without further ado, we will move on to our um, action of the evening. So um, after a very thorough process, it is my distinct pleasure to announce that the school board has decided to appoint Dr. Jesse Boyd as the next superintendent of King George County Schools. So with that, um, I ask my colleagues, I have a resolution before you if someone would like to move to adopt this. I move, do you want me to read it? Okay. Yeah. I move that we adopt the resolution as stated, whereas there is a vacancy in the Office of Division Superintendent, and whereas the school board wishes to appoint Dr. Jesse Boyd as Division Superintendent for a term commencing January the 1st, 2023, and ending June 30th, 2026. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Dr. Jesse Boyd is appointed Division Superintendent for a term uh, commencing January 1, 2023 and ending June 30th, 2026, and be it further resolved that the chairman and clerk are authorized to execute an employment agreement with Dr. Boyd for a term commencing January 1, 2023 and ending June 30th, 2026, a copy of which is attached. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Any discussion? No. Okay. All right. Well, um, all in favor say aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. And so congratulations, Dr. Boyd. All right. So we have um, some copies of the contract here for us to sign. We will do that. Is the 14th correct? Okay. 
Thank you, Cheryl. All right. Well, Dr. Boyd, congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. I appreciate it. One more. Yes, sir. Mind the all right, well, thank you all for joining us. Dr. Madam Boyd, Chair, we are I certainly honored. Go right ahead, Ms. Hawk. Adjourn. I, I would like to say a, a very special thank you to our, our chair during this process, Ms. Gonzalez, has worked beyond the call of duty um, in the evenings and on the phone during the day and has done an incredibly fine job. Uh, so I appreciate you, Ms. Gonzalez. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not, not only that, but I want to thank you for serving this year as, um, as chair. Um, it's um, done a good job. You've acted very professionally and very respectfully, and I want to thank you for that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to add, I mean, obviously this is a months long process, so it seems like we should say a few more words. Uh, so we started in the summer with the survey and then the jobs announcement and then the interview process and negotiations. And it was a nationwide search, I want to say, and in the end we picked Dr. Boyd. So obviously that, that says, speaks to the quality of the superintendent we've just hired here. Very proud to announce Dr. Boyd as our next superintendent. And I do remember we did interview quite a few very qualified candidates and um, we asked them all the same questions for their interview. And I remember doing the first interview with Dr. Boyd and hardly being able to sleep that night, just thinking about all the possibilities, how excited I was about how well he answered all the questions. And so I know the public hasn't seen or heard a whole lot about the process because by necessity, necessity, it, uh, a lot of it had been closed session. So I did get Dr. Boyd's uh, permission to share a little bit of some of his answers that I found so encouraging. I just want to share some of those with you. Uh, so we had asked or talked about well, the first one I've actually shared a couple times already. And that was I found out in the interview that uh, Dr. Boyd had responded to the uh, issue that brought about the uh, sandwich lines in the, the cafeteria and how he responded so quickly to that and employed the students to solve the problems because I think uh, education applied is super important. So a very important way to be learning. That's what we want to be doing. And related to that, we also talked about work-based learning, something that we're looking forward to doing soon. That's that's something that's coming up. And then I think we also just saw the way that Dr. Boyd, how punctual he is at addressing issues, you know, quickly uh, with the sandwich line thing, but then also just recently with the gentleman who pointed out the uh, issue at Sealson with the flag. I mean, it was like the next day we had a plan in action to uh, deal with that. So I look forward to seeing more of that. I'm sure we can expect that. And uh, then there's also, throughout the whole interview, it was very clear that Dr. Boyd loves King George. This is home for him. And he's a very valued member of the community. And community was a, a big topic too. Just talking about the school systems as being uh, really important to unifying the community. It's, it's a shared asset here that we use not, I mean, obviously it serves the students, uh, but beyond that, we use it for things like uh, the wonderful place we put on, coming here to cheer on the Foxes to victory in the various sports. And Fall Festival, obviously we host it here, uh, STEM activities, concerts, just brings the community together in many, many ways. And uh, Dr. Boyd recognized that, was emphasizing that something that's important to him is important to me too. So I'm excited to see that grow uh, just to be, something that pulls us together. And also on the top of community, we pointed out that something unique about King George is our homeschool and military uh, communities, our sub-communities. And it is encouraging to hear that he understands very clearly uh, that you know, the homeschool community, for instance, is not a problem to be solved, but rather just valued members of the community that uh, we look to integrate as much as possible. There was mention of the VHSL and possible 
uh, changes there to allow more inclusivity for homeschoolers and extracurriculars and so forth. And we're already doing great things to make our military kids feel welcome and look forward to continuing to do that as well. And yeah, you know, obviously I can mention a lot more, but I won't go on and on, but the overriding theme for me was you know, community, community, community. So I look forward to making good on that and blessing everyone as thoroughly as possible with our great school division we have here. So based on all that, I'm highly confident that Dr. Boyd is absolutely the right superintendent for King George at this time. And uh, very optimistic about all the things that all of us will be able to do together uh, leading the division in the years to come. So uh, I want to say thanks again, Dr. Boyd. Very excited about the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Rolls. Madam Chair, may I say a few words? Yes. yes Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to e echo Ms. Hawk's sentiment. Number one, Madam Chair, I thought you did an amazing job and we're always on call. And there was countless hours, I know, with this process that I know you tended to every minute detail that uh, went into this very thorough interview process. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you, board members, for doing an amazing job of vetting all of the candidates, making me feel really nervous in the process, <laughs> but uh, hopefully getting the best out of me. And uh, I certainly hope to project that as we move forward. I've been now in King George for, I think I'm going on nine years, and I fell in love with King George uh, nine years ago at King George High School as the principal. And uh, what I know uh, was the cause of that love was the amazing staff that I work with at King George High School and now the amazing staff that I work with throughout this division. It's the the, the heart and soul of our school division is our educators uh, and we need to continue to make sure that we support them and I consider that my utmost job in making sure that we have the uh, most qualified teachers. Uh, I see some sitting in the audience here. Ms. Strauss who gave public comments tonight is uh, certainly a model of that and uh, somebody that helped me fall in love with King George as well. So uh, I thank everybody that's uh, helped me along this way. Uh, as Mr. Rolls said, this is my community. I'm here. This is my kid's hometown. I'm all in. I'm fully invested. There's no other place that I intended or wanted to be superintendent. Uh, I'm here to stay in King George and I love every minute of it. So thank you guys very much. I'm so excited. I look forward to the future and uh, I can't express how much this means to me. So thank you all very much. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Well, without further ado, wish everyone a wonderful holiday season and look forward to picking this all back up in January with the new a formal addition to our uh, dais up here. So very exciting. All right. Do we have a motion to adjourn? A move that we adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. We are now adjourned.